Well, this week marks six months since the launch of a major mail facility in Georgia, and 11 Alive has been investigating delays stemming from that facility ever since. That's right, Jennifer. So we have tracked more than 3,000 complaints about everything from missing prescriptions to concerns about absentee ballots never making it to homes. And tonight, 11 Alive's Liza Lucas reports on where the situation stands in Georgia and what questions remain. What was supposed to be a sweet gesture has Leslie Johnson now shaking her head. It's crazy, it really is. Leslie mailed a box of cookies to her mother in Maryland on August 1st. When it did not arrive on time three days later, she tracked the package to the Palmetto facility, where she says it stayed nearly two weeks before bouncing back with a note indicating postage due. Leslie showed us the receipt where she paid. It showed up on my doorstep this way. Still don't know why. No explanation, and when I contact the post office service themselves, they still think it's in transit. She wants to know when service will return to normal. The same answer 11 Alive has sought for months, as we hear from people waiting for prescriptions or from people whose businesses have been impacted. We're going we're gonna to fix it. Uh, you're absolutely when? right. When is it going to be fixed? Back in April, Postmaster General Louis DeJoy apologized for delays at the new Regional Processing and Distribution Center during a U.S. Senate hearing while reassuring senators and 11 Alive service would be restored in 60 days. He defended the need for such consolidation in Georgia and across the country as part of the Postal Service's 10-year plan to streamline and save money. The system has significant problems. These changes are meant to salvage it for the, for the future. But even now, in the final week of August, we're still fielding daily complaints from viewers like Diane, trying to track down mail. The employees have actually been great. They've been helpful in terms of just trying to help me understand what it is that's causing the issues. Um, but I know that both of us would love for the issues to simply be resolved. Well, on time delivery for first class mail is up to 87 percent from 36 percent back in March. Thomas Day, vice chair of the Postal Regulatory Commission, says we're still not where we should be. It's not even at the level of performance that Mr. DeJoy promised uh, at the Senate hearing in April. Day says Georgia still lags below the national average of 91 percent, and he sees other struggles in the numbers. Some of this stuff is taking exceptionally long amounts of time to travel just within the state of Georgia. USPS has repeatedly denied our request to tour the facility, so it's hard to know what's happening inside. Outside, we recently filmed another backlog of trucks, and employees have tipped us off on other challenges, sharing pictures apparently showing packages waiting to be hand-processed after an issue with a sorter. The Postal Service says both problems have since been resolved, but unlike first-class mail, there's no published data to follow, leaving residents like Leslie stuck wondering. You shouldn't have to wonder when you put it in the mail when it's going to actually get there. Liza Lucas, 11 Alive News. So once again, 11 Alive has repeatedly asked when service will return to normal. And while the Postal Service has answered some questions lately, like when we asked about the truck backlog or pileup of rejected packages, they have not responded with any information about a timeline or answered our questions about ongoing solutions to fix the Palmetto facility.